So in this example, guys, we have v minus w, where v is going to be negative 3 comma 4, and w is 3 comma 1. So you guys see how like having component form just as variables like is kind of nice. Like there it is. You can see we have two variables. I'm sorry, two vectors with the names just as simple variables, not like how we wrote the other ones. And they're in component form, which we like. All right. So you guys can see in addition to your notes, there is vector addition as well as scalar multiple. Um, but basically, guys, all we're going to simply do is we know what v is, which is negative 3, 4. And therefore, we know also what w is, which is 3, comma 1. So rather than subtracting, though, I prefer to rewrite this as a scalar, as an addition of a negative. Actually, I'll just rewrite that. So instead of subtraction, I prefer to do this as an addition problem. And you guys are OK with rewriting a subtraction problem as an addition problem, right? Just adding a negative, same thing. Now I can apply the scalar multiple, which is basically just a distributive property. And now, based on my vector addition, you just add your components together. So negative 3 plus negative 3 is a negative 6. 4 plus a negative 1 is going to be a negative 3. And that is what we call our resultant vector v minus w. Now, another thing I might ask you to do would be to graph this. So what I want you guys to understand is I'll kind of break this apart, and then I'll show you how the graph would look. So typically, when I'm looking into graphing, guys, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph v and then w, and then I'll show you guys how this kind of works. So I'm going to kind of do this broken up, and then I'll show you what I want to see on a quiz. Um, if this shows up on a quiz or a homework. So let's go ahead and graph v. v is at negative 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, there is my vector v. Yes? I have no idea. Which one? That should be a positive 3. Thank you. So there's vector v. We good? Let's go, ahead and let's go ahead and graph vector w. Vector w is 1, 2, 3, 1. Right? But remember, when we change this to a subtract, when we change this to a negative or to a subtraction problem, we have to multiply by a negative. So therefore, negative w is actually 1, 2, 3, down 1. So it's actually a reflection about the, which would be, if, which is a good reminder of the same thing like that we had for what type of functions? Odd functions. Odd functions are reflected about the origin, right? Remember just a little old, good old day? Because yeah, you're reflecting about the x and the y, right? Because you're distributing that negative to both components, to the x and the y. Okay? So there's negative, there's v, there's negative y. Now again, what is what does adding do? Like what do we mean when we're adding vectors? So the basic thing you guys need to understand when adding vectors is what we call the tail to the head method. So here's a tail. Here is your head of your vector. When you're adding vectors, basically all we're doing is just like continuing a story. Like you graph one vector, v, and then all you're going to do is take the, the other vector and add it at the end. right? So you have the tail to the head. And then what you're going to do is take the tail of the other vector and put it on the head of that vector. So therefore, it looks something like this. Do I have my blue? I don't have my blue. What happened to my blue? Somebody steal my blue? Well, if you guys didn't move my stuff, it would be all right. So if we take negative w and just go over now three units and then go down one, do you guys see what I did? I basically took the, ve the vector negative w and just put it at the end of v, right? So guess what? That represents my component vector or my resultant vector, which is uh, negative 6, 3. Now, is that negative 6, 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Looks pretty good, right? So what I will like you to do is obviously find the resultant vector, which algebraically is not that hard. You can graph the resultant vector, which is not that hard. But I'd also like, to show, I'd also like you guys to show me the tail to end method of your combination of your two vectors. So you don't need to show me w and negative w over here. You just need to show me like the, add, the tail ahead method of two vectors. 
Could you also add v to the end of negative w? Yeah, you could have done it that way as well. OK? All right. Um, yes? During the work? You guys are going to do work times. Wow, OK.